Don't you just hate it when somebody says we're going to have some kind of beans and they just bring a can out there and dump it? I don't know what to tell you. Take them cans to a new level. Some cowboy baked beans that's got a bite in them. Woo, they is good. Stick around, folks. Oh, I didn't know we was rolling, Shannon. I was, I was going on down to just James Brown here. I'm finna put the move on some beans. We ain't talking about boring, but we are talking about can. My mother taught me a long time ago, you can take can and make them into something special. And I have proved it many times. Just go back to Chop Grill Masters. I fooled her own so bad he thought them didn't even come out of a can. So to start with, we're gonna use two kinds of beans. Ranch style bean, or what y'all might think is just an old chili bean in a can. and van camps pork and beans i have took me one of them colanders and drained them beans so i'm gonna pour them right here in that dutch oven make sure you give them time to drain really well i have browned me up six slices of thick cut bacon i'm gonna dump them in there one of these whole cans of chipotle peppers and adobo sauce now folks i'm telling you do you want to tame it down just a tad take you half of them who are we talking about taming down? This is for me and the beagle. We're going to use every one of them. So let's dump them all in there real good. Then one of them medium-sized Vidalia onions dumped in there that has been minced or chopped, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to use about a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of mustard, which is that much. We're going to give that a good mixing. You can use whatever kind of barbecue sauce you think you got to have. Me, I like something that's got a little sweet to it, but not a whole lot. So, how much? I'd say start out with at least a half a cup, then we'll see where we're at. You want to make sure you got some liquid in there with it, so it comes down to the ultimate test of what we're going to do, and that's taste it. Now, them chipotle peppers is going to give this a little bite, so we need to tone that down a little. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put brown sugar in there, which is that much right there. I guarantee you, as Justin Wilson used to say, mix it up well. Now we got some stuff that we got sweet and we got heat. It's a deadly combination. You can right. see that consistency, folks. If Shan will zoom in here, it's just right. We're gonna take them over here and put, us, put them on a trivet Coals underneath, coals on top, about a medium heat. They gotta cook through for about, oh, maybe 10 minutes and then we good to go. Folks, we're gonna have the recipe in the little link below, but also Shan good enough that she gonna give you the conversion over to regular indoor recipe in the house. So I'm fixing to cook this right out here on some coals. I got some mesquite burning, so let's get at it because I'm getting hungry. Well, folks, we got this on a tall trivet today, but you could put that down there on what you call maybe a medium height trivet. So we're going to start out with coals around the top and coals on the outside edge here around the bottom. Now, we will have to rotate. All right, folks, we've got these coals on the top, pretty medium amount around the outside edge. We'll let them get to cooking, let them get to simmering here. Then we'll rotate lid one way, bottom the other, even out any hot spot we might have. And you can tell by looking at the beagle over there, he's getting ready for some beans, he is. Now folks, I'll guarantee you the way that wind's blowing today, we're gonna cook them a whole lot quicker than what we'd cook them in there in the house in the conventional oven. It's not gonna take near as long. I don't know if things have started to simmer yet, but we'll check. No, things is just minding their own business, sir. So we're going to let them go. We'll come back in a minute. We'll rotate. We're going to take a look. I'm thinking we're going to have to add a little juice here to things as in when heating. You can see we got just a little bubble starting to take effect. So I'm going to speed it up just a tad. And I'm going to add a little heat top and bottom. Folks, let's do a little check in here. Oh, as you can see, things are happening now. We got a little more liquid in there than we might need. So we're going to rotate and then we're going to do 
a little crack in this lid, see if we can't get rid of some of that moisture that's in there. We don't like much, we're gonna let her go about four more minutes, then we're gonna call it a done deal. So let's see what's happening here. Things is boiling good, ain't nobody sticking nowhere, so we in good shape. I'm gonna call this a done deal. I'm getting hungry. I tell you, you want to let this cool before you start to even think about dipping it and putting it on a plate. I always serve it with a slotted spoon as well. So we're going to dig in there, go plumb to that bottom because ain't nothing burnt. Pull that up here just a minute, let some of that juice run out of it for just a second. You can see the smoke coming off that rascal. That'll burn the hair off a frog's butt, I'll guarantee you. It didn't cook long, maybe 10 minutes, 12 at the most top and bottom. Now you remember the bacon was about three-fourths done before we started. Processed beans here in them cans, they was done cooked so they wouldn't have put them in there. All we're doing is combining flavors, but we're also giving it time to love each other as it goes around there. You got to bring it to a good boil, top and bottom, let it thicken just a little, get all them flavors incorporated, then you'll be good to go. Barbecue sauce is different wherever you're at. Now, some of it's a lot thinner or thicker than others. What we used today was a little thicker than maybe what we normally might get from the store. But you can sort of regulate that cut back if you think you've got a thinner barbecue sauce than a thicker. But always go by your taste before you ever take it to the fire. Make sure you've got it sweet as you want it. Make sure you got enough heat in there. Always remember, you got to have that mustard in there to even things out. All right, folks, let's try these little rascals. Get me some of that bacon, some of them chipotle peppers, a little onion. Mm. I, woo, my taste buds is singing a song. They be happy, happy, happy. When you combine all these flavors and you use canned ingredients, you can make them taste this good. You just got to know what to add, how long to cook, what to put with it to bring out all the flavor. All gets in there and it makes a happy meal. Well, folks, hope you learned something today here at school. How many of you are, and I want to see a show of hands out there, vote for the Boring Bean Candidate? <coughs> Me and the Beagle, we're going to vote for these cowboy baked beans. We don't take this for granted that you stopped by and took time out of your day to watch. Be sure and hit that subscribe button so you don't get lost on none of this other stuff we're doing. God bless you each and every one, and remember, it's a good day above the grass, and the grass not be above me.